Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. For users who enjoy creating worksheets in Excel and performing calculations using tools in Microsoft Excel, it may be helpful to note that you can insert an Excel worksheet into your Word document if you have both Microsoft Word and Excel installed on your computer. You can then edit the information within the worksheet using the Excel interface but display the data within the document as if it were a table. To insert a worksheet into a document, place the insertion marker into the location where you want the worksheet data to be displayed within the document. Then click the Table button within the Tables button group on the Insert tab. Then click the Excel Spreadsheet command in the Buttons drop-down menu to insert an Excel worksheet object into the location within the document. At that point, you will be then working within Excel interface and editing the contents of the cells within the worksheet area shown. You can then enter the necessary information to display in the Excel worksheet area. You must also apply all formatting to the cells in Excel as you cannot make any changes to the object within Word. Note that the embedded Excel worksheet object has a dashed border around it. You can only display information that can appear within this area in the document. To resize the display area to increase the data shown or to remove extra cells from being shown, you can place your mouse pointer over the small black resizing squares that appear around the perimeter of the embedded worksheet until your mouse pointer turns into a double pointed arrow. Next, you can click and drag to increase or decrease the size of the worksheet that will then be displayed within the document. Once you have finished entering the worksheet data and resizing its display as desired, you can then click into the document area to finish editing it and change the display of the worksheet into a table. If you need to edit its contents again in the future or to change its display size, you must return to editing mode by double clicking the embedded worksheet. You can then click back into the document after editing it to change it back to an embedded table within Word. To delete an embedded Excel worksheet in your document, simply click it to select it, and then press the Delete key on your keyboard. And like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.